I'm John Aldridge for DIYPhotography.net. I'm back here with Craig at the Black Magic stand at IBC 2025. We're going to talk about some new updates to the video assist. So, Craig, I've been told you've got some new updates either here already or on the way for Video Assist and Sony. Can you tell us about those? Yeah, absolutely. So something we've been working on for a while is having the ability with Blackmagic RAW as our own codec and capture system that can go through DaVinci Resolve available in Video Assist for third-party cameras. So previously, we've announced and shown support for Sigma, for Nikon, for Panasonic. And we've shown some tests orig originally with the Sony camera systems. And here at the show, we're showing that we have Blackmagic RAW capability with our video assist to record via Sony FX3. And this is a fantastic update that will come out shortly, end of the month into October, to support owners of this camera system so they can start to use the benefits of Blackmagic RAW. We're going to bring that to the FX3, FX3A, and FX30. Um, you know, camera systems that are small, lightweight, really, really popular. We know there's lots of users and operators out there that want to try and use the Blackmagic RAW product, but it isn't available in the camera hardware itself, we can now access it through it. And what we'll do then is follow that update with a second, which will bring the same update for video assists to work with Sony FX6 and the FX9 and give complete coverage across that range of cameras. So all of those owners and operators of the Sony hardware can get the workflow benefits of Blackmagic RAW DaVinci Resolve from us. Brilliant. And what other codecs does this support for Sony besides Blackmagic RAW? Well, we already have ProRes in there as a standard, yeah. um, and also you can do DNX and Avid in certain formats as well. So the information about the different codec options are on, on the website for the video assist. And there's an off-board monitor as well. They've got you know, great features. They can be HDMI and SDI input, um, and they've got a load of different sort of overlay monitor controls, scopes, and, and histogram controls. So they're really, really good off-board monitor production system. The bit that was lacking was the Blackmagic Raw uh, workflow. Yeah. So we put that in, and they're a complete unit now that gives you that control through. Brilliant. So straight out the camera, straight into DaVinci Resolve. Yeah, and for us, the speed and efficiency of Blackmagic Raw is the benefit of DaVinci Resolve. It is. It's a native codec. It's a little bit of Blackmagic from DaVinci Resolve embedded in your recording. So we're creating that workflow from camera acquisition point as fast as close as we can to the camera sensor. Um, and it's built and it's designed around the sensor as well. One of the key elements of Blackmagic RAW is it profiles the camera sensor that you're using. Other codec systems are very generic, and yeah. they're just like a standard encoding system. The great strength of Blackmagic RAW is it knows the camera it's working with. It's unique to each sensor. So our engineers have worked with Sony on this, so we know the difference of an FX3 versus our own cameras. We make those version differences in the sensor profiling, and that packages the color and data information to resolve, and you get the best of your camera in DaVinci by using Blackmagic RAW. Yeah. So that's why whenever a new camera comes out, even if it offers RAW over HDMI, this won't necessarily support it right away because you guys have got to profile the sensor and figure out how to interpret all the stuff coming in. Absolutely, yeah. And what we do, our engineering teams work with that camera manufacturer. We look at their sensor, they look at our uh, encoder, and we make sense about how it can work best. So it's profiled to each camera uniquely. And that means that Blackmagic RAW works very differently to other systems. It gets the best of your camera without compromise into DaVinci Resolve, which is always the key for us. We yeah. want color reproduction. We want that vibrance. Um, and there's so many good camera choices out there. We want to be part of that workflow. And this is a great bridge for yeah. Sony operators and owners yeah, to now use that in Resolve. Brilliant. So when did you say the firmwares were out again? So for the smaller cameras, the FX3, the 3A and 30, we'll look to have those at the end of the month or into October. And then before the end of the year, we'll have a release for FX6 and into the FX9. Brilliant. Wonderful. Thank you very much. All right. Well, that's it from the Black Magic stand once again at IBC 2025. We're going to keep looking around, see what else we can find. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, thumbs up, all the rest of it. We'll see you in the next one.